Bollywood star Amitabh Bachchan, one of the most influential actors in the history of Indian cinema, has tested positive for COVID-19 and has been admitted to Mumbai's Nanavati Hospital. His son, actor Abhishek Bachchan, whose Amazon original series, Breathe, Into the Shadows, bowed on Prime on Friday, has also tested positive. I have tested COVID positive, shifted to hospital, hospital informing authorities, family and staff undergone tests, results awaited. Bachchan tweeted Saturday evening. All that have been in close proximity to me in the last 10 days are requested to please get themselves tested. Earlier today both my father and I tested positive for COVID-19. Both of us having mild symptoms have been admitted to hospital. We have informed all the required authorities and our family and staff are all being tested. I request all to stay calm and not panic. Thank you, Abhishek tweeted. Other members of Bachchan's household include his wife, the renowned actress Jaya Bachchan, and equally renowned daughter-in-law, actress Ashwarya Rai Bachchan. Bachchan's last film, Galabo Satabo, bypassed cinemas and bowed directly on Amazon Prime in June, as cinemas across India remain shuttered due to the coronavirus pandemic. The news prompted an immediate wave of support from the Indian film industry. Sound engineer Rasul Pukati, Oscar winner for Slumdog Millionaire, tweeted, that's how a responsible citizen behaves. Sir, all our prayers to get well soon. Actors wishing Bachchan a speedy recovery included Mahesh Babu, Danush, Sanam K. Ahuja, Mahmoodi, Sarath Kumar and Bipasha Basu. Bachchan is a giant of the Indian film industry, headlining influential films like Sholay, Diwar, Don, and Amar Akbar Anthony, among many others in a five-decade-long career. He had a cameo in Baz Luhrmann's The Great Gatsby, and has hosted several editions of Khan Banega Kropati, the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? With 850,000 positive cases, India is now the third highest coronavirus-affected country in the world, after the US and Brazil. There have been 22,687 deaths so far, according to official figures. Want to read more articles like this one? Subscribe today.